Charlie. Hi, baby. Hi, guys. It's Angela, and I am doing a little vlog today. Um, this is inspired by Miss Glamorazzi's video she just posted yesterday on her nail polish collection. Um, she used a shoe organizer, um, over the door shoe organizer from Bed Bath and Beyond um, to organize all her nail polishes which is I think an ingenious idea. Um, in my particular case I cannot, I've seen so many people making those little um, shelf things that you hang on the wall, um, which is awesome. I love that idea for displaying your nail polishes and stuff, but in my house I have no location to put something like that, so it would not work for me. Um, so I did a nail polish collection video probably um, several months ago. And since then, I have become addicted to purchasing nail polish. Um, I've been getting the Julep nail polishes every month, and my nail polish collection has grown. And uh, the way that I am storing them right now is not working anymore. Um, especially the fact that I can't really see what I have anymore. It's just not displayed nicely to see all the colors and stuff like that. So it's really kind of a pain to um, do my nails and pick out colors and stuff like that. I kind of have to just go through them all and find the right color and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she did this nail polish collection storage video where you have the, um, she has all the nail polishes in the little shoe pockets and, um, they're the clear ones and, um, cause they have like, like shoe organizers that have like the fabric pockets, but this one actually has clear pockets. So you can actually, she has them organized by color and, um, each pocket has like a different color group in them. And I, it, I think it's an awesome idea and I have, um, the space for it behind my bathroom door and, um, I am going to do that and uh, so I am on my way to Bed Bath & Beyond right now to go pick one up they have them there for $15 and I have one of those 20% off coupons that I get in the mail constantly and um, I don't know if everybody knows this but the expiration dates they all have expiration dates but they it doesn't matter because they will take any of those 20% off coupons, um, doesn't matter what the expiration date says, it could be expired, like it could have expired two years ago, they will still take it. The um, expiration dates do not mean anything to them. So that is what I'm doing at the moment and I will um, show you guys uh, my reorganization of my nail polishes. So I will be right back. I just wanted to show these coupons really quick. Um, sorry about the little shadows there. but. They have um, $5 off of a purchase of $15 or more, or 20% off your total purchase. Um, this one expired actually in 2010, and this one expired in uh, January of this year. So, um, like I said, we get these constantly, like in the mail, in the flyers. Um, I also see them in magazines. and. Um, it doesn't matter what the expiration date is, you can use them anytime. Alright, so here it is, the shoe organizer with the clear pockets. And it was $14.99. And the cool part is they let me use that $5 off coupon, which is um, supposed to be $5 off a $15 purchase or more. Um, and it was supposed to be before taxes and uh, I was almost thinking I was gonna have to like buy like a dollar item to get it over 15, but they put it through and it worked. So that saved me an extra um, five dollars off. If I used that 20% coupon, I would have only gotten three dollars off. So there you go, ten dollars for the shoe organizer. So here's my current nail polish organization storage thing. Um, I made a video about this a couple months ago. I'll link it down below and um, maybe I'll put like a new notation in the video. 
Um, I really have an amateurish collection, um, nothing compared to some of the other girls on YouTube. Um, I really kind of just started out really buying stuff, and um, even now I don't really buy much high-end stuff. Um, but it has increased since that last video, and as you can see, um, these little bins are not very um, usable because I have to basically lift everything up to see what nail polish I have and what color I'm looking for, and it is not working. And I'm mean, even have an overflow up top here. So, oh, by the way, this um, right here is a nail polish that my daughter just made me buy her. It's supposed to be glow in the dark. Um, and it does not glow in the dark, so I'm gonna have to return this one. Do not buy it. Um, I think I got it at right aid. So here is my over the door storage piece, and I am going to fill it up. I think it's definitely a lot bigger than what I need right now, but I'm sure I will fill it up over the time. So here is the finished product and I cannot believe that I actually filled this whole thing up. I did not realize that I had this much. So unbelievable. Um, but I mean I'm so happy I did this because I can actually see what I have now and I love how this is displayed. Um, so I have the uh, dark purples, the reds, the dark pinks, light pinks, the greens, the teals, blues, light purple, orange, yellow, white, metallics, um, these are like brights, grays, those are crackles, those are all my um, sparkle top coats, these are all like miscellaneous Wet and Wild Old Polishes, um, those are the Thin Brush Polishes, um, these are some more older random items, that's um, my Metallic Polish, and I have another one, I gotta find it, I, I have, must have it somewhere else, and uh, down there are like my Mini Ulta Polishes, I have some Clears and some Tap Coats and Drying Stuff, and the Meiji Nail Art Pens. So that is it. I love it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to check out Miss Glamorazzi's video. I will link that down below. And if you're interested, you can check out my original nail polish storage collection video. I'll also link that. And I am also running a giveaway right now, bracelets, jewelry giveaway. Um, it's ending October 1st, so don't forget to check that out. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!